Happy New Year, guys! We are super excited to be back from our short break. You may have noticed we have a new rebranding. We have a new logo, some new visuals, and we thought to ourselves, let's give Jordi a makeover. Like this, guys? Mm, Skeeter boy! No, 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 Jordi. That's not what we want. We talked more like what they did in The Irishman, where they made Robert De Niro way younger with some visual effects. But instead of making you younger, we're gonna make you older. In our vacation, we found a really cool program called Absinthe. This is basically a software which brings your painting to life. It takes the input frames and tries to copy them all over the other frames. And that got us thinking, can we use this in VFX like to age someone? In November, Adobe released some very cool new features for Photoshop, which are called Neural Filters. This is a very powerful AI called Adobe Sensei, and you have a lot of functions inside the program, but we are only going to use Facial Age, Facial Age, and with one slider, you can make Jordi older or younger, but we're going to use older. So everyone on YouTube has been saying that I look older. Well, guess what? I, I am getting older, guys. What do you expect? That I'm like Benjamin Button? Like that's not happening to me. I'm actually getting older. We already have a result, but as you can see, it's blending quite weird. That's because the software is blending for us and we do want a little bit more control and even a better blending. So we are going to do that ourselves later on for a better control. But hold on guys, what if we use Photoshop to age every frame of our video? It's so insane it could maybe work? Luckily, Photoshop has an automation function so that I don't have to do everything manually. All right, that didn't quite work. Photoshop calculated each frame differently, which is why my face is going all over the place. So we wanna go back to the initial idea and find a way to automate this more so that we can save time and not spend weeks trying to blend the aging well with my face. Filmmaking is very broad. You've got editing, shooting, sound design, color correction, and so much more. So wherever you can find a way to save time, that would be great. And that's also where our sponsor Storyblocks comes in. Storyblocks is an ever-growing library with over a million royalty-free stock clips. You can find various genres from architecture, nature, animals, people, and so much more. They offer high-quality 4K clips, but also things like backgrounds, overlay effects, high-quality animations, and so much more. We use it on almost a daily basis so that we can spend our time in other tasks. Do we need a quick transition or an animation? Well, they have After Effects and Premiere Pro templates for that. And the great thing about Storyblocks is that it's only a single price per year, which allows you to download unlimited video assets. So go check it out, guys, on storyblocks.com or click the first link in the description down below. And now let's go to the studio and build my future home. I'll be coming up hot for a minute. Everybody know the drop when I'm in it. The hardcore fans of Cinecom will recognize this wallpaper. It's from a while back ago when we did a 24 hour music challenge for Cine Battle. It's back. Cine Battle is back. Team Blue! So we just arrived at the office and we want to continue with the set. But then we noticed this. Welcome to Cinecom. The walls are back up, so let's continue with the rest of the set. That's antique, guys. It's like 500 years old. No, that's not true. We want to create an evening scene. So what we're doing is setting up a blue light, which resembles that moonlight. And in front of that, we've got a cuckoo which essentially is just a cardboard with a window shape in that. So we get the same shadow structure in the scene. I was milking the cows when suddenly a UFO appeared. <laughs> 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 
Kenick! Kenick is sleeping. <laughs> I got laughing grams. So we have all our shots that we want. And for our testing, we found out that it's better to film from a tripod when shooting for the end effect. If you use camera movements, the perspective of the face changes constantly, which will give Absinthe a harder time. Then the first thing we want to do with our footage is render it as a PNG sequence. This is a mandatory step for using Absinthe. And while Lorenzo is rendering, I can already start with making Jordi old. However, we switched it up a little bit. We noticed that the neural filter of Photoshop had a few flaws like you can see in Jordi's hair. So we explored other options and came by the well-known app, Face App. Here we could easily make Jordi older and get a better result. We did this for every 30th frame to get the smoothest result in the end. Now, before we can use Absent, it's very important to use a clean workflow. We placed every old Jordi image in a separate folder called Keyframes, and we also kept the original name for it. This is a must, as Absent needs to recognize on which frame he needs to map it. For the original PNG sequence, we placed this in a folder called Video. Then we just opened up the software and added the Keyframe folder to the designated spot, and the same for the Video folder. Then hit Run All. Once done, you can export it to After Effects with this button right here. And you can start with the fine tuning. Adjust the blending and maybe add a mask where needed. And when you have tweaked it to your likings, you are done. It's been 60 years on YouTube. We've had a lot of ups and downs. But I think it's time for me to retire. So thank you for all of the support through all of these years. Where was I? Oh yeah. I I'm quitting YouTube. Stay creative. Janik, what was I saying again? Janik? Janik is sleeping. Sweet! I no longer have to make a goodbye video for when I'm leaving YouTube. I can just use that clip. It looks pretty good, guys, right? What do you think? Let me know in the comments down below. And that was the first copycat of 2021. I'm super excited to make more videos this year. So uh, without further ado, thank you so much for watching. Thank you, Storyblocks, for your support. I'll see you in the next video. And as always, stay creative.